Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 88 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to be really introducing many different pieces of nostalgia in this film, as well as connecting Episode 9 to the prequels and the originals in meaningful ways that's going to benefit the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren from start to finish of this story. And that's the big thing about this movie. That is a big risk. It could either be a good or a bad thing, depending on how it's all going to be executed on the big screen by Disney and Lucasfilm, and exactly how it's really going to resonate with Star Wars fans around the entire world. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, as well as one of the big plans by Disney, Lucasfilm, George, and JJ, this is where things begin to get very intense for Episode 9. Now, specifically, it's described that during the rewrites of the film, during the months of November and December of 2018, is when George Lucas was very much involved with the adjustments of the second and third acts of the film. It's explained that one of the sequences that George and J.J. Abrams worked very hard on was a sequence for the third act of the film where it's described that at one point in time, as Rey and Kylo Ren are fighting Palpatine in a two-on-one lightsaber duel, it's that they would have Hayden Christensen provide dialogue for that particular scene, guiding both Rey and Kylo Ren as they fight Palpatine. It's described that the plan is to create Anakin's voice to sound far older than ever before, and that Anakin's Force Ghost is said to tell both Rey and Kylo Ren a passage of the first Skywalker. Additionally, it's explained that one of the plans for a scene that involves the netherworld of the Force would also involve Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, where Anakin is said to shapeshift from his younger self to his older self before giving Rey and Kylo Ren a lesson about the wills. It's said that the lesson of the wills from Anakin is described to change how fans view the Force and how the Force actually works in the Star Wars franchise. The sequence is described to be a way by J.J. and George to explain the Force through Anakin in greater depth. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that Episode 9 is going to be a film that's going to be taking many different risks as well as introducing many memorable moments from the past eight Star Wars movies in different ways. And what I love so much about this particular moment is that the fact that George Lucas is indeed heavily involved with this movie, not just with the rewrites that took place in 2018, but he's also very much in tune with the reshoots that are happening as we speak right now during this month of September, where they're actually fine-tuning many different parts of the second and third acts once again. So, this particular scene, alright, that actually involves both Rey and Kylo Ren fighting Palpatine on board of a actual throne room that he's actually inside of, this is actually said to be the very moment in which they hear the Force Ghost voice of Anakin Skywalker reaching out to Rey and Kylo Ren, telling them a passage of the first Skywalker. Now, like I say, we do know that Episode 9 is going to be a film that's not only going to tap into the prequels and the originals and Star Wars Legends, but also introducing brand new Star Wars lore. And the first Skywalker is going to be a part of that brand new Star Wars lore, in the form of Force lore that's going to be used as a way to benefit both Rey and Kylo Ren in Episode 9, which honestly I think is great and fantastic. It's a way for Disney and Lucasfilm to expand the Skywalker saga in different ways, that can be further explored in the future, either in the forms of books, comics, novels, you name it, right? So, the other piece that I do want to go over is, of course, how it's planned for Hayden Christensen to appear as his younger self, transition, transitioning to his older self, shape-shifting, basically, back and forth in the netherworld of the Force, delivering dialogue about the wills to both Rey and Kylo Ren during their scene in the third act of Episode 9. So, the wills, in case you guys did not know, is a big thing that George Lucas created on his own many years ago, back in the 1970s, when Star Wars A New Hope was actually just released. He came up with the idea of the wills, these godlike beings that watch over the entire galaxy. In fact, in The Rise of Skywalker, it will be implemented into the point where it was the wills who created the entire universe at that, and that they are also the ones responsible for creating both the dark side and the light. So this movie does really have a lot going for itself when it comes to these big revelations in the movie. They're going to change how we view the Force and how we change our views of 
certain characters like Anakin Skywalker from the prequel trilogy era. That's what I love so much about this film is that they're really trying to make it feel like the culmination of the Skywalker saga, in which it is but in different ways, by providing, of course, different elements of the Skywalker saga that fans would have never expected to see on the big screen, as well as brand new Star Wars lore that's going to evolve the Star Wars franchise and bring it into a different direction for the Star Wars fans around the world. And to me, I think that's an excellent idea by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and crew. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.